Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing a brand new game on the channel. We're going to be playing a Project Gotham Racing 4. Now, I'm not actually sure when this game came out. I think it was like 2007 ish. Um, but this was the second game I ever played on my Xbox after Forza Motorsport 3. And honestly, it's going to be so amazing to come back to this game after so many years. Welcome to Gotham, Korea. Uh, your goal, climb to the top of the rankings ladder and achieve the coveted number one spot. Are you ready to rev it up? Yes, we are. So we're going to pick a normal difficulty because that's average sort of how the game is supposed to be played. Um, so yeah, I haven't played this game in years and I really want to get back into it. Um, so what is this? Uh, the Asia Amateur Open. So we've got three events to do. Um, and we are 72nd in the entire championship, so. Uh, what car should we go for? Joe, you know I want to go for a Lancia Delta. Or we could go for... Nah, let's go for the Delta. Let's take that for this one. And it has to be in bright yellow. If you don't take the Lancia in a bright yellow, you're committing crimes against the world. You are committing... You may as well be committing hate crime. That is what taking the Lancia in a not yellow colour is. Let's do this. Street race. Oh. Oh my gosh, this game is stunning. It's an olden, but it's a golden game. Second place, nice clean section so basically the principle of this game is instead of earning credits and XP you earn kudos so you basically level up based on points in the championship and um, as you drive if you drive amazing so first place you get 150 kudos um, when you finish an event uh, fourth you'll get nothing third you'll get 2,000 4,000 and 6,000 for th first um, and those kudos basically go towards you unlocking new vehicles. Um, and you buy them as vehicle packs as well. So you get a selection of vehicles at a time, not just a vehicle. So it's really, really interesting. And they've got all sorts of different packs as well. So you've got racing packs, uh, different circuits. It's really interesting. I'll show you that in a minute. There we go, winner. That's our first race win. And we only just won as well, which is pretty interesting. 6,000 kudos for first place, and then another 767 extra. And that is our first street race done. Right, let's go on to the next one. Come on, hurry up. Let's go on to the next one. Saving content. Got to make sure to save the game, because if it doesn't save, it, it won't be good. It won't be fun. Oh, I should put my phone on silent. How do I do that? There we go. Second stage. Let's go. <clears throat> Got three laps of this track. Oh, that wasn't very nice. There's also each camera angle. So you've got an interior view for every single vehicle. Which, actually for a game of this time, to get every single car with an interior camera. Kind of impressive. And each car as well has its own individual style dials as well. Which is just stunning. Bit like um, Test Drive. What Test Drive Unlimited 2 managed to do. With all the um, 
extra graphics, extra stuff that wasn't necessary, and they done it, just put that extra little bit of effort in. You have the music at the bottom, which I haven't actually worked out how to turn off. Because I'm not smart enough for that, apparently. Edmund Wong. Oh yeah, you can get rid of those. I forgot about that. Yeah, I don't want names above cars. Not yet. Gosh, they are picking up speed though in this bit. Right, this is our ch time to shine. Time to shine. Break much later than the rest of the pack. Oh, that mirror is catching up with me. Oh, we got airtime as well. Holy crap, that's my ass, thank you. Great corner, lovely. Thank you for that. And that is that next race done. These races seem very short, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember them being this short. Right, let's take a look at the championship leaderboard then. So we came second, so we only got 4,000 kudos. But, because our driving was better, we actually got more kudos overall. So, the better you're driving as well can also decide the championship. Right, final race. Oh, this is a breakthrough? What's this? Beat 10 checkpoints to earn maximum position kudos. Oh, so we... Ah, this is the checkpoint missions. I remember these. These were very good. Let's try this one interior only. Oh, stunning. Right, checkpoint. That's our first checkpoint. Another checkpoint. Nice. Checkpoint number three, all sorted. This car is pretty quick, actually. They aren't half slow. They definitely have some speed to them. Ah, we're going over the bridge and then round underneath. See, that looked really confusing on the mini-map. Oh, great corner there. Come on, we're going to get this championship, no problem. We're 10 seconds ahead on average at the moment. Oh wait, no, that's adding 10 seconds every time we hit the checkpoint. I thought that was the average time. Oh, so we might not be doing as well as we thought. Uh, I think we're still doing pretty well. That B pillar, or uh, the A pillar, is it the A pillar? Yeah, A pillar's in the way at the moment. Really in the way right now. Where's my nice corners there? Those were amazing corners. I didn't get a single... Oh, there we go. Great corner. Good. Give me something at least. Okay, this was terrible. Did it. 
do do. We gotta get one more checkpoint and we win. Come on. That's it. Winner. Come on, we can get one more checkpoint. We can get one more. Come on. Yes! Ah, uh, we didn't manage to get that last choke point, but that was amazing. 1,100 kudos in that. <laughs> Loads of kudos there. There we go, championship leaderboard, and we are at the top, of course. 18,000 kudos in total, which I think is enough to actually get, like, the first pack. There were some really cheap packs at the start or something. Finish the championship. That is our first championship done of Project Geth Gotham Racing 4. And we have won the Asia Amateur Open. Lovely. So we have gone up in position on the leaderboards. How many points do we have to get in total then? See, these drivers, they don't change position at all. 684 points to get first place. That's going to be quite a challenge. Right, so this is what I mean by the PGR shop. You can have a look and you can buy like packs of cars. So you get two Lotuses in this pack. Uh, if you look here, these are the cars you can get. Which actually looks quite nice now that I think about it. Uh, or you can get the Chevy pack, which has a couple of Chevrolets, a C, a D, and an F. Uh, this is Americana, so this has... Oh, this has a Cadillac in there. And then you've got the BMW pack, which you can get. Which I may end up saving up for the BMW pack, because that would be more useful than any of the other packs. Uh, so we got ourselves another championship, the Nippon Open Championship. We're going to take a different car. We're going to mix it up. So this time we're going to take the Sierra Cosworth. Give this one a try. The whole point of this game isn't sort of, oh, you race, you earn as much. It's just to have fun and sort of have a go with each different vehicles. So I like to take a different vehicle for each championship whenever I played this before. I think we're still going to do that. And look, look at the interior of this car. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so this car seems to be a little bit slower than the Stratos was. It's not the Stratos, is it? It's the Delta Integrale. How did I get that so wrong? I'm a car person. Arrgh! I've just offended so many people there. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's the Lancia Delta Integrale. Yes. I want to knock the bike off. Nice clean section going there. Come on, let's go. That truck, that is a truck and it's pulling faster than this car. How is that possible? That shouldn't be physically possible. Um, as well, this game doesn't have any upgrades. So you are driving stock cars. You can't upgrade a vehicle, make it faster, which I think is... Sort of a better appeal than Forza because you are driving actual cars. Like you're not making a fake version of, say, the Delta that can drift around corners amazingly. Because it's not realistic as such. There we go. That was a good corner. Right, let's get this break in way too late. 
And no driving line. That's another good thing. There's no driving line in this. So you have to know when to break. There we go. That's the win. 730 kudos, which is nice. And we are first place on the championship leaderboard. Lovely. You love to see it happen. Right, let's go. Next event. Come on, we can do this. And we got our burnout points, which is a good start. Come on, we got to overtake the Mustang. So at the moment, we're on all of the Japanese and Asian tracks. Um, but eventually we will move to a different part of the world um, to do other tracks and that's what I like it's sort of you don't just go on all of the tracks in one go you sort of you sort of change with the times and it's really good really good nice corner there which is stunning this bike is gonna die in a minute This car really doesn't like to drift. Okay. I'm trying to get a couple of drifts in. See if we can get some extra kudos. I literally can't get it to drift. There we go. Nice. I wish that we could get Project Gotham Racing back. Get a new one. Same as Test Drive needs to come back. These games, they're all sort of closing down because Forza has apparently taken over. Yet yeah, I prefer Project Gotham Racing to Forza. Yes, I prefer this to Forza. And it's, a, it's an interesting thing to say. But there is just so much more this game has to offer than any Forza ever has done. Even Forza Motorsport 7 doesn't have as much as this offers. Because this game has snow driving. You can drive in the snow. The crew got shut down ever since they updated to the Crew 2 style. Which was pointless because the Crew 2 wasn't as much of a hit as the crew one was because the crew one they styled the game really well with their uh sort of crew two style oh that is close we nearly got overtaken there uh stay out of last place so this is eliminators so you have different game modes as well which forza doesn't have um and I think that's why I enjoy this game so much, is because the game modes are there. Let's do this. Let's go interior for this race. Right, so we need to get out of last place as soon as possible. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Beep beep. Beep doop. Beep doop. That's not a really nice noise. Eliminated. Right. Second place. It's this truck that's really speedy. But that truck has to slow down a lot more than we have to. Ah, oh, the feet don't move. That's weird. That's really trippy looking at that. Let's 
Survive elimination. Great corners. Lovely. We're getting some really good corners going on here. Finished! We came first! Woohoo! Lovely! Oh, I got a comment on the video! Lovely! We'll check that out later! Um, right, so that should be us in first place? Yes! Yes, first place! Lovely! And that's another 25 points onto our championship total. Finish championship. Right, we are... Oh, we're nearly out of the amateur bracket already. Current kudos is 36,000. We've got ourselves an invitational event to do. Uh, unlock the exclusive Jaguar D-Type to use in your next race. Invitationals give you access to exclusive vehicles. If you choose not to enter, you now you can enter it next season. No, we'll enter it now. We'll play it right now. Oh! I remember this car. It has the longest first gear ever. Oh, it's this. You gotta hit the cones. I remember this. Right, let's see how many cones we can hit. And we can get some kudos as well. Oh, but we got a time limit. Ah. I might not want to spend too long drifting then. But we can get a few kudos, why not? That was disgusting. Star Wars Battlefront downloaded. I never even wanted to install that. What's going on? What? Why am I installing Star Wars Battlefront? Oh well. Okay, we got a couple more cones to hit. Where are the cones? Where are the cones? Where are the cones? What cones are? I failed the invitational. No, we were four cones off. Ah, oh, unbelievable! We failed. We didn't get the car either. But what we are going to do is oh. Five Italian Italian classics. Which classics are they? So we've got Lamborghini Miura, the Stratos, which I said about earlier. Uh, Alfa Romeo SZ. I have never seen this car before. What on earth is that? And then the 250 GTO. Um, so I think we're going to go for the BMW pack. Yes, let's go for that. So we've got ourselves some BMW cars. We've got two BMW cars and a BMW bike for our next event. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this first episode of uh, Project Gotham Racing 4, then be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.